All right, so this is just a little clarification for genetics vocab. To review, remember from mitosis, or sorry, meiosis, you're making haploid cells that have half of the normal number of chromosomes. You make an egg cell and a sperm cell. In humans, an egg cell and a sperm cell each have 23 chromosomes. And when they combine to make a baby, that baby has 46. And of that 46, half of them come from ma from dad and half of them come from mom. So you get half of your chromosomes from your mom and half of your chromosomes from your dad, which is why you have some characteristics that look like mom and some characteristics that look like dad. In this unit, we're gonna use that to introduce some new vocabulary. So we've already been talking about genes. Genes are the pieces of DNA that code for a specific trait. And traits can be different things, like skin color, eye color, hair color, height, personality, all right? The different forms of a trait are called alleles. So traits are alleles, and alleles are traits. Alleles could be things like blonde hair or brown hair. That trait is the same. It's hair, hair color, but they're different forms. One says light colored hair and the other says darker colored hair. All right. In the case of these alleles, there are dominant alleles and there are recessive alleles. A dominant allele, if you get a copy, so remember you get one copy of each gene from your mom and one copy from your dad. One from mom, one from dad. And that's for every gene you have. Your eye color gene, you got one from mom, one from dad. Your hair color gene, one from mom, one from dad. Your skin color gene, one from mom, one from dad. If you have one copy, it only takes one copy of a dominant gene for you to express that dominant trait. So brown hair is dominant over blonde. You have to get, well, well, we'll cover blonde hair in a minute. To get brown hair, you only need one copy of the dominant allele. We always express a dominant allele as a capital letter. So in this case, we're gonna pick capital B for brown hair. A recessive allele is always written as lowercase. So in this case, we're gonna use a lowercase b to represent the blonde allele. And remember, again, you get one copy from mom and one copy from dad. So the possible genotypes Genotypes are the types of genes. They are the genes you inherit. H-E-R-I-T. The genes you inherit, the possible genotypes. Remember, one from mom, one from dad. Your mom could give you a capital B. Your dad could give you a capital B. That's one possible genotype. And because you have at least one copy of this dominant allele, 
this person has brown hair. You could get one dominant from mom and one recessive from dad. It also works the other way. One dominant from dad, one recessive from mom. Regardless though, you got one copy of the dominant gene. So even though you are carrying that recessive gene, you do not have blonde hair. You have brown hair because brown is dominant over recessive. And that's how dominance works. Dominant genes can cover up recessive genes. This person though does have the ability to pass that gene onto any future children they might have. But they themselves will never have that color hair unless they artificially change their hair color. You can also possibly get two small Bs. If you get this, this person has blonde hair. The only way you can have a recessive trait is if you get two recessive genes. Because remember, if you get one copy of the dominant gene, then you express the dominant trait. And what we call that, so we've used the term genotype for these genes that you inherited, one from mom, one from dad, the expression When you look at your genotype and it says what trait or characteristic you're gonna have, that is called your phenotype. So your phenotype is the color hair you have or the color eyes you have or the color skin you have. Your genotype are the genes that you have that are responsible for that hair color, eye color, skin color. You get one from mom, one from dad. Dominant are always expressed, even if you only have one copy. Recessive can only be expressed if you got two copies of that recessive gene. All right, hopefully this helps connect meiosis with genetics, which is our new unit. Thank you.